Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is uh, barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. The Estadio do Dragao in Porto, distinctive in so many ways by comparison with its Lisbon rivals. Hungary braced for their anthem. thrown down the gauntlet with that anthem now to match it Who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yeah, Tony Kroos. His passing range is second to none, Peter. He can ping it out to either wing with wonderful accuracy or play a cute through ball into the box when under a lot of pressure. His teammates will be looking to get him on the ball as often as they can because they know how much he can hurt defences. He would be the obvious choice, wouldn't he? He certainly has all the right qualities. Got things on the way. Tony Cross. Oh, nice touch. Turns and goes back. And it's hoisted clear. It into the middle and he's cut it out clears it out of harm's way aimed in towards the centre and it's corner Played it short. Hit into the middle. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Get a throw in. Gundawan. He's tried one. That's caused a worry or two. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. Forward it goes. And he's there to clear it. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Gundawan. The fence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. That's a baffling decision to go in alone, Peter, when the odds were, were stacked against him. 
Just had to get his head up and look right. Rudiger. Gundogan. Germany are seeing more of the ball, but still aren't carrying much goal threat. Gundogan goes to the cross, and that has gone horribly wrong. Rudiger battles to win it back. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Hoists it forward. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Kimmich. And it's played forward. Oh, shooting chance! A great save, real class. Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. And it's been taken short. Gorgeous control there. Tries a shot! Tries to get it forward quickly. Good challenge, he just stood firm. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Shot a goal! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Well, that's where he wants it. to play it through. Yeah, I mean, he, I think he did well to, to spot the run. He just didn't get enough behind it. It happens. Rolls out on the left now. It's a fine run and he's happy to keep going. Keeps everyone guessing. Sent it behind for a corner kick. His opposite number. He can get that clear. We've reached half time. So now the team has broken through. But certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. So we reach the halfway point. And we're off again. Germany can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Tony Kroos. Good run down the left. What can they make of it? Gundogan. Just brushed off the ball there. The referee's awarded a free kick. He has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket. It's just a stern lecture. Defending, it's been repelled. Chooses to go back. In once more. Kimmich perhaps it too hard.
hoists it forward. Well, it's a safety in numbers approach to defending here. Yeah, but dropping deep can bring more trouble, yeah? Well, shots from distance and, and space in wider positions besides the obvious issue of inviting most of your opposition high up the pitch. Gets into a dangerous position. He's got options out wide. Goes for goal! Big relief here. Just needed better contact. Well, that's why we all say the decision is fatal. Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. Locate someone up front. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Well into the second half, and still there's nothing between them. And it's Kundawa. He's come through and he's had a quick look inside. Now it's Kundawan. Kundawan. Of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Well, you could see he was eager to get a shot away, but there was too much flesh and bone in his path. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. The one. Well, needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. Germany merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. And it's played forward. Gundawan over to the left. That looks a good ball. Goes for goal! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. <laughs> Germany are making a change now. It's going to be a double change then. And it's Tony Kroos. A oh, great ball! Plays it back. Germany showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Forward it goes. Well, that's where he wants it. Tar. Rudiger. Tony Kroos. Forward it goes. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Germany have a free kick. Kimmich. So time is nearly up. One final twist, perhaps. Played into the middle. Defending of the desperate variety. Tony Kroos. Tar. Gundawan. Gundawan! 
And the whistle goes, so nearly a telling finale, but it ends nil-nil. A frustrating game for attackers on either side. They hardly had a sniff. Defences broadly in charge.